Jai Sadie performance that can only take place. Greetings, everyone. This is Indy Jai Sadie, live and direct here with Sarah Simone. And we are shooting live here in Hermosa Beach, California. If you would like to stay in tune with my new songs and the shows that I have upcoming, you can check my website at myspace.com, Indie Jaw Sadie. And Indie Jaw Sadie is I N D I J A H S A D I E. Let's check out Sarah Simon 100 on YouTube. Yeah. See you soon. See you soon. I'm Kenson. How you doing, India? I'm very well. How are you? Awesome. I'm great. So you're, you're here all the way from LA. You know, there's a message in the music. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's awesome. Now you yeah. talked about your your musical influences. You said um, Minnie Riperton and Whitney Houston. Um, you're from Kansas, and Kansas is is relatively a small town. So, what are some of your 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 family influences? What what have been some family influences for you? Well. I'm from a musical family, you know, my father sings, my, my mother sings, and I grew up listening to my father's music and my mother's music, you know, and when I was a kid, I never had to turn my music down, you know what I mean? Wow, yeah. that's almost like bragging, because, you know, most kids, their parents yeah. want them They're to like, turn, turn it down! down. Yeah. your dreams, because I really want to get into your life in L.A., because, I mean, a lot of kids look, and a lot of people looking. They probably, des they look at L.A. as like a dreamland, like, you know, they think they may not ever make it there. So tell us, what is life for you in, in Hollywood, in Los Angeles? Well, you know, when you say Hollywood, I'm sure you mean quote-unquote Hollywood, not actual Hollywood. Okay, because okay. Because Hollywood is not really Hollywood, what you mm. think Hollywood, you know what I mean? Okay. It's, it's um. Hollywood is cool, the actual place. That's the first place that I lived when I left the East Coast and I went to California. I, I got my first place in Hollywood. I had a nice little studio in Hollywood. Mm. Um, but my journey to actual quote unquote Hollywood, you know, that's a that's been a very long journey. Like you, you said, we mentioned before, I do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So I have gone through somewhat of a maze to actually get to my ultimate uh, goal, which is to do music. You know, I've modeled, I've done makeup, all the things that we that I have mentioned to you, I started doing these things in Hollywood and has actually done a lot for me. You know, being able to hold hands with a lot of stars. Say, you probably touched hands with some great stars. I mean, India, I've been keeping up with you, girl. I mean, Have we're you? talking about Brittany Murphy, Brittany um, Murphy. even Tisha Campbell from, Tisha Campbell from the Martin Show. Man, that's awesome. Yes, yes. That's great. Yes, I have had the uh, pleasure and the honor to, to do nails for those people. That's yeah. great, I've great. Cool. Well, um, I'm really glad you're here. And I want oh you to my. share really quick with us... Um, what goes into your music? Are you formally trained, and what goes behind the making of your music? Okay, basically, right now, um, what goes into my music is um, my my heart, my life experiences. You know, I write my songs, and um, right now, I, I'm in a spiritual thing where I'm, I'm writing a lot of spiritual songs right now, uh, and love songs. I find are coming out of the spirituality, you know, because I have such a great love for my creator. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's love songs are also coming out also. And yeah, people right. are like, well, who is she writing this about? You know, they may not see me with that special guy and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, that's what's up. So how does it feel when you perform? <laughs> um, well, a lot of answers came to my head all at once. Uh, the main thing is that when I get on the stage, something takes over. Like, I don't have to really think, you know, about what I should do or what I'm doing or, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just like a natural thing. Something That's just awesome. takes over, you know? Sometimes I'm nervous before I go up. Sometimes I'm not. Okay. You know, but, um, 
I, I feel great when I perform. I feel really good because I feel like it's another step towards my goals and dreams. That's awesome. And also, too, you're, you're giving a gift to the people as well. Well, you know, it's not all about me. It's not all about me. It's about bringing joy to the people, you know, giving the people upliftment, something that they can feel good about. Music is a healer. You know, it's the healing of, of all nations. Music, you're right. It's a inter national uh, language. That's right. You're exactly right. Music is the international language. Now, uh, speaking of performances, uh, who are some people that you perform with? You know, actually, um, yes, I have. I did a Bob Marley tribute, a Bob Marley festival at the California American African American African American Museum, downtown Los Angeles. And I was on a lineup with Lady Trinity. She has a song with Beanie Man, and okay. you know, she's doing really well in her career. Awesome. Big ups to Lady Trinity. And uh, also on that lineup was okay. Neville Garrick. All right. And uh, he is legendary in reggae. You know, he was part of Bob Marley's crew. Awesome. Now, when you speak of Bob Marley, I know you're a Bob Marley fan. I'm quite sure you've sang numerous and performed numerous Bob Marley songs. I have. So the question oh, is, I'm not a big don't Marley fan. Don't, don't hurt me for that one. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to wait in vain. Come on. I know you know this. Not really, but you can keep singing to me, though. You can keep singing to me. I'm feeling that, you know. Yeah. Um, the first reggae band to ever win a Grammy. And, uh, and yeah. I was reading up on you on MySpace.com. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was reading that you were on Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. Share with, share with us that experience. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I was on Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. I was um, a VIP model, mm. and uh, meaning that I was a hired model, and I got to be a VIP. You know, they always want to have these uh, exotic looking women all around the artists because Wild and Out is a show with the comedians, they battle and then they also have a guest that performs. I'm sure every, you know what You're I right. mean? That's what life is all about. We're we're on that journey mm -hmm. to get to what it is that we want, you know, like the Queen of Sheba, Makita. She was mm -hmm. on a journey to her king, Solomon. That's what's up. You know? And so this song is very special to me because when you're waiting, you don't want to wait in vain. Mm -hmm. You want to believe that what you're waiting for is definitely coming and it's going to follow through. You're right. You're right. That's great. Thank you for sharing that with us. I, I feel privileged and I hope the people watching feel privileged as yes. well because you really I shared something with you. Unfortunately, because I'm really getting into it, I wish we had more time. We had to come back. We had to do a, a, yeah, a I'm just episode up. two to this. That's right. Absolutely. So as we wrap up, what do you want to give to the world? Give some words to the world. This is your time. Um, the main thing that I would like people to know is that you can do anything that you want to do. You can do anything that you want to do. You can do anything. That's right. That you want to do. That's Just awesome. Don't give up. You know, um, make an outline. Write down things that you need to do towards your goals and check check it off, you know, and make a list and check it twice and just continue to press forward and just do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. You know, it's not just a cliche when they say there's only one life to live or life is too short. Those things are true on this earth and That's just right. enjoy it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Life is too short.